Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Carrot and I am a general manager at Soros. So today I thought that I would go over some tips and tricks that you might not know, you may know them, to pass interviews more easily. If you have any other tips for people watching this video, then comment down below and share your ideas. If you do like this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more content. Now getting into the tips. The first tip that I have for you is to calm yourself and remember that you can always try again. Um, one thing in Soros is that we have a lot of interviews. We have like two interviews every day if they aren't canceled or if it's not a holiday, something like that. So on a regular day, we have two interviews every day. Sometimes we even have three interviews. Um, so you can always try again um, if you fail. Now I know it's really nerve wracking to just be in this interview room with other people that could potentially get the job instead of you, but just remember to calm yourself down, you got this, and if you fail, it's not a big deal. The second tip I have for you is to be nice to your interviewer. When you are in the lobby and they come up to you, you should greet them, make sure that they know you're not AFK, say hi, um, how are you doing, thank you for taking me, something like that. When you get into the interview room and they introduce yourself, say hi, nice to meet you, things like that. And it's better than just being silent and not responding to them. Another thing you could do is thank them for taking time out of their day because we really do um, make sure that you guys have a really good experience. Sometimes it even takes up to an hour to interview people and you know that's all a pretty significant amount of time out of our day so make sure to thank them for taking time out of their day. The third tip I have for you is just a basic one but a lot of people just don't really understand it is to use grammar. Grammar is such an important piece of Soro interviews. If you don't have grammar, then you're gonna get kicked right away. Now, although it's not as strict as it used to be, um, we still do look at your grammar. Um, make sure that you're capitalizing your I's. Make sure that you're capitalizing the first letter of every sentence. Make sure you're using punctuation at the end of every sentence, like periods or exclamation marks um, or question marks, I guess, <laughs> if it's you know, fitting. Um, make sure to use commas. Um, a lot of people don't use commas, which is kind of aggravating to me. And make sure to use apostrophes, which is, um, maybe some people don't know what apostrophes is, but basically when you're spelling it, you do I-T apostrophe S. Make sure you're using apostrophes because that's a big piece of grammar. Now, if you do fail because of grammar, then I suggest, you know, at the end, before they kick you, to ask them, you know, can you tell me the mistakes that I made if they don't already tell you, so that if you want to try again, then you have that information. Number four is such a big, important piece of Soros interviews, which is detail. Detail is so important. If you have amazing grammar, amazing vocabulary, but you only put in one or two sentences that have four words in each sentence, then we're not really going to think that that's a good answer, no matter if you have good grammar or not. I see so many people that just don't use a lot of detail and they completely wreck their chances of becoming a trainee. I have some people on the first question that barely make it past the detail and then on the second question they're just submitting four word answers which is surprising um, and I have to kick them and most of the time they have amazing grammar but the detail just isn't there. Now some tips that you can do to improve your detail is to import the question into your answer. For example, if somebody asks you do you want a sandwich for lunch instead of saying yes, you could say I do want a sandwich for lunch because I'm really hungry, you know, something like that. And then just continue and give examples of why you're hungry or something. Like, that's a bad example, but anyways. <laughs> My tip is to either have two sentences full of a really good detail or have three plus sentences with detail. If your answer cuts off, then it's fine. The interviewers can 
look at chat logs and you don't have to repeat yourself. Number five is something that I don't really see a lot, but I definitely did do this when I first started like working in Roblox jobs, which is copy and pasting answers. Now I wouldn't go to like YouTube videos and search up how to get a job at Hilton Hotels, but I would prepare answers based on questions that I would see. So I would write down answers before the interview and then copy and paste them, which is not a good idea at all. Please do not do this. Us interviewers are smart and we can figure out if you're copy and pasting. I know it's really tempting to prepare answers so that you're ready to go, but it's better if you just go with the flow while you are interviewing. Now personally, the things that I like are when people are actually honest and they don't just try to like meet the criteria. I guess we don't really have a criteria as far as what people think that we do. Um, of getting a job here. Some people are really proper, they use big words and make sure they have a lot of detail, and some people just are really honest and they're like, oh, the definition of success to me, um, you know, just living life. You know, like, I love those answers. Personally, I love those answers. Everybody's different, but I love those answers. Soros is professional, but you know, we're not a real life job. You don't have to be really, really professional. Um, some people think that you have to, you know, wear proper clothes to interviews, and that's just not true. For training interviews, you do not have to wear proper clothing. Your clothing does not matter. It doesn't matter if you don't have any Robux. It doesn't matter if you have an Xbox character. None of that matters. It's just your answers matter. Now, number six, I kind of sneaked into number five, but number six is don't worry about your appearance. Your appearance at trainee interviews really don't matter. It doesn't matter if you have yellow, pink, green, red, rainbow, purple, Halloween skin. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a dress or a suit or if you're wearing a default clothing. Um, the only thing that we don't want you to wear is bypassing shirts and we want you to wear clothes so if you're naked or if you have a shirt that says the f word on it then we're going to kick you that's the only you know thing that we don't like those were my six tips for passing training interviews i hope that you guys like this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe blah 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 share it with your friends blah if you have more tips or more tricks then comment them down below and if you have any questions then you can contact me or you can comment down below Good luck at your interviews if you have used this guide. Make sure to tell me down below and tell me if you passed or not. Wrapping up this video, I hope you guys have an amazing day and amazing rest of your week. Bye!